Okay, this is the P1 to P2 drill. P1 is just a des designation for position one, which is address. P2 or position two is when the shaft is first parallel to the ground on the backswing. So we're gonna set up to a ball. And now once we get set up, we're actually gonna stand up with a club. Now we're gonna use mostly your chest. Your hips can move a little bit, but you don't want like a 45 degree hip turn at this early stage of the backswing. Feel like you rotate your chest until the shaft points about 90 degrees away from where it was, okay? Or parallel to your target line. Then you tilt forward, okay? And that's gonna get, depending on the camera angle, um, the club head and the hands are going to be in close proximity to each other. If I can get this to draw correctly. <clears throat> That's uh, a checkpoint. Uh, second checkpoint is you'll see your hands or my hands have uh, not gone out away from my body. Let's actually put a measurement there. So my hands have actually retracted in a little bit because we are swinging on an arc and the arc means the club has to move from where the ball is to up the arc, which is gonna be eventually somewhere up in here, okay? So we've got a hands checkpoint, a club, club checkpoint, and now we're gonna give you a club face checkpoint, which would basically be um, the face of the club is pretty much matching your spine. It could be vertical we definitely do not want the club face unless you're a highly skilled player to be what's called laid backwards okay that's really all there is to it and you just start rehearsing it from the bent over position okay then i'm going to show you the front view again this is how we would do it standing up so we're getting an early turn in the chest uh, most tour players have about 40 degrees of chest rotation at this point early in the swing. We're going to tilt over. Then we're going to rotate back to the floor and go, okay, what does that feel like? Can I emulate that feel? And then if you'll do it from the other view, watching yourself, or both views watching yourself, you'll see from the face view the hands have gone past the right leg. And we got a little bit of what's called width in the backswing. Okay, so both arms are still relatively straight. We got a good foundation for this backswing. What we really don't want is hands moving out away from you. The good news about this drill, you, you can't really get the hands too far inside unless you want to hit yourself in the legs. So you just, again, just go through this procedure quite a few times. You'll get familiar with it fairly quickly and then it'll become a more permanent part of your swing.